What is up guys? We're back with another video and today we're checking out this CPU cooler right here. This is the Cooler Master Hyper 212 3D HP Black ARGB long product name. But this is the brand new Hyper 212 which features their new 3D heat pipe technology. So let's go ahead and take a look. Before we get started, let's talk about Cooler Master's 3D heat pipe technology because it's something that they're going to be implementing on a lot of their newer air coolers. Traditionally, with a normal heat pipe, they would start at the base of your cooler and then go up in sort of a U fashion on the outer edges of your heatsink. With 3D heat pipe technology, they've added a heat pipe in the center. So that goes up through the center of your cooler, which leads to more efficient cooling overall and just better heat distribution. Because of that, these newer coolers actually require less heat pipes than say the previous versions of those coolers. There are two different versions of this cooler. The one that we have here is the Hyper 212 3D HP Black ARGB, which of course has the ARGB fan. And then there's just a normal black, which of course will just have a non ARGB fan, which is all black. Now, the good thing is that they're both priced exactly the same. If you're not familiar with Cooler Master's Hyper 212 series, it's sort of like their entry level air cooler. And because of that, it's not all that big. It's a single fan, single tower design, and it's like, it's not gonna take up a whole lot of space at all. I'll go ahead and put the official dimensions right up here on the screen. Starting at the front of the cooler, we have Cooler Master's Mobius 120 ARGB fan. This fan makes use of a ring blade design that cuts high frequency noise and keeps operation smooth and quiet. One thing that is worth mentioning is that the power cable and ARGB cable that comes off of this fan is fully sleeved. You typically don't see that, especially on entry level air coolers. Looking at the cooler from the side, we can see that single tower design and that the heatsink tower is not all that thick. We can see our fan is held into place with simple fan clips. The top of the cooler does have an all black cap with a Cooler Master logo on it. I do like the top cap here. Cooler Master is definitely going with a more sleek design on their newer products. As we take a look at the back of the cooler, we get a better view of the heatsink and those 3D heat pipes, which go up through the center of the cooler. When it comes to the heat pipes, we do have two 3D heat pipe modules. These are very much like standard heat pipes as they go up into the heatsink in a U fashion but then you have a center part of the pipe that goes straight up into the heat sink. This design allows Cooler Master to actually use less heat pipes, but still have the same amount of performance. The previous Hyper 212 coolers actually had four heat pipes, for example, and we only have two here. Looking at the base of the cooler, you can see that we do have an all copper design with a nice finish on it, but there are some machining marks visible. When it comes to installation, I'll be installing this cooler on an AMD X870 motherboard. So this installation is for AMD's AM5 socket. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is remove the AM5 mounting brackets on your motherboard. You will keep the backplate in place though. Next, go ahead and install the AMD mounting bars on the bottom of the cooler. They can only be installed one way, so you don't have to guess if they're installed correctly. After you have the mounting bars installed, go ahead and apply the included thermal paste. From there, remove the fan from the cooler and then carefully place it on top of your CPU, lining up the screws and the mounting bars with the holes in the backplate on your motherboard. Once lined up, go ahead and secure the cooler by tightening the screws. Reinstall your fan and be sure to plug it into the CPU fan header on your motherboard and the ARGB connection to an ARGB header. With the fan installed, you can see we have 100% memory clearance and the cooler doesn't take up much space at all. When it comes to testing, we're gonna be testing both temperatures and noise levels. So here's a full breakdown of our test system.
Cooler Master's Hyper 212 series has essentially been iconic over the years, and everybody has loved the Hyper 212 series because it provided adequate performance at a really, really, really good price. And talking about performance, at idle, this is this cooler is actually better than a lot of the dual tower dual fan coolers that we've tested in this new test system here. On top of that, even at load, while it got beat out by those other coolers, it still kept, you know, our CPU under the TJ Maxx, no thermal throttling or anything like that. And I think for most people who run their CPU at stock, this is going to be a great cooler. If you're a system builder, this is the cooler that you're going to throw in all your client PCs because it's just a very affordable cooler that's super easy to install, doesn't take up a lot of space. It's not going to you know, block your RGB memory or anything like that. It's very quiet and it is, it's super easy to install. I think even for a newbie, you can get this installed in about 10 minutes. It really is that easy. And then coming down to price, this is $29.99. It is gonna be one of the cheapest air coolers that you can buy. Maybe you can find some other ones that might be cheaper, but they're probably super loud. They don't perform as good as this. And then on top of that, they are horrendous to install. Super easy to install, good performance. The 3D heat pipe tech makes it so we have actually less heat pipes, making the cooler even smaller as well. So I definitely like that. So if you're looking for, you know, an air cooler for everyday PC use, this is one that I would definitely recommend. Now, if you have any questions about this cooler, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. And if you did enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up. We'll see you guys in the next video.